The world of wearables just got a little more interesting with Apple announcing the new Apple Watch. It's not only a smart device through which you can talk to your other smart devices, but it's also an activity tracker and a health monitor. And in that sense, Apple is competing not only with the watch world, but also with the fitness device world. That's already a well-traded market with the likes of uh, Sony and Samsung having devices that have been heavily marketed in this environment and they appear to be the main competition. But there's another player in the market. What happens when you combine someone who has speciality in GPS with understanding how people need to use the mapping and related services that go with it? With me in the studio, I have Dan Hendricks, Regional Manager for TomTom Tom in Southern Africa. And I'd like to ask Dan, what was TomTom Tom thinking when they entered the wearable market? It's a very good question, I think, Arthur. Um, we've always helped people to get from A to B. So we've helped people to reach their destination. And in that way, the watches actually fit into our philosophy. We still help people to get to their destination, but the destination we replace by where do you want to be? So the B is actually where people want to be. And that could be a destination, but that could also be um, you want to run a 5K uh, run, you want to do a 10K run, you want to lose five kilos. So the destination or the goal you want to achieve is actually the change that we went through. And we want to help people, we want to empower them by giving them the right tools to achieve that goal. How do you differentiate yourself from Apple, Sony, Samsung? Well, um, the products we have launched, and you can see some of them, um, are clearly sport products, okay? So it's not a smartwatch, it's a sports watch. So it's a product that people will use when they go out for a run, when they go cycling, swimming, for the activity. So it's not a product you would wear for 24 hours and you use to get mails and other um, information. But this is purely to improve your um, overall performance and that's where the watch will uh, come in very, very handy. Thank you, Dan. For comparison, let's just have a quick look at what came before, the Sony Smart Band and the Samsung Gear Fit. Activity trackers, which do speak to other devices, but essentially designed purely to measure your activity. TomTom Tom have gone a step further with the runner cardio and their multi-sport cardio. To give you an idea of pricing, around $269, around $299. Pretty much at the same price as the smart watches rather than the, than the fitness bands, but they can be worn as watches. But well, the most important aspect is that they have GPS built in and they are designed for the specific purpose that the fitness fanatic wants to use them for. So for example, with the multi-sport, cycling, swimming and running are built into it in terms of tracking activity courses. And coming up from TomTom Tom is the Golfer GPS watch with 34,000 golf courses built in. That makes up for the fact that unlike the other two devices, it doesn't have a heart rate monitor. But I guess on the golf course, that's not what you're going to be worrying about.